What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Yup, it's the Bishop, man. Look, man, we here at the property. Told you we just bought half a block, right? And we putting it together. We putting it together, we putting it together. I want y'all to understand that God is real. Listen, real estate is the way to go. I'm gonna be teaching classes. Follow me. I am Bishop Lamar Miller Whitehead, but I need y'all to understand all of this. More than half a block. Just purchase that, man. Let's get it, y'all. God is good. 2022, the year to surreal. Deuces. Peace. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Yup, it's the Bishop, man. Look, man, we here at the property. Told you we just bought half a block, right? And we putting it together. Mm. We putting it together. We putting it together. I want y'all to understand that you're about to go through. Shalom, shalom, call hello, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. That's giving all praise to the Most High. In the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Rakak Wadash. Okay. And then this video, it says Brooklyn pastor robbed of more than one million in jewelry while preaching. This lesson. I'm gonna give double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone, Ruel, peace and salutations to the full lakes scattered abroad. My name is Ibar from the prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And in this video, you see Brooklyn pastor robbed of more than one million dollars in jewelry while preaching. Okay, and this pastor, some flashy pastor in, in New York, okay, who's obviously getting his wealth off of robbing the people. Okay teaching false tithings okay and what came out of it he got uh robbed man and he actually got robbed while he was filming live okay probably asking for all types of donations and lying to the people okay and the lord had it where this man got robbed on live tv okay you know some gunmen as you see on the screen came in there all black you know guns you know and robbed him for over a hundred oh for like for over a million in jewelry now what was a pastor doing wearing a million dollars in jewelry okay what was the pastor doing wearing over a million dollars in jewelry? And you see, they just kept coming back. They kept coming back and getting more and more. So this man was loaded, man. And he was robbing the people. 
Okay, so this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith Yahweh. Okay, so these um, pastors, okay, they destroy and scatter the pasture. Okay, they just destroy and, and, and scatter the sheep, man. They're not teaching you the truth. They're teaching you lies. And ultimately, the Lord's going to bring judgment down upon them. And this man, you know, it, he's lucky he left with his life. Okay, he's lucky he's left with his life. But in this time, judgment is going out on a mass scale, man. The Lord is doing some miraculous things. And um, these things are going to, you know, increase. Okay, and they're going to come vivid. You know, a lot of judgment is going to be filmed. It was spiritual how this happened while this man was, you know, live streaming, man. It didn't happen when he was in the comfort of his home. It didn't happen behind closed doors. It happened for the whole world to see. This was a, an example, a, 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 um, you know, <laughs> the Lord is to be feared, man. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. Woe, which means destruction, be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter my sheep of my pasture, saith Yahweh. So the Lord has a, um, a anger, you know, a, a, a problem with these pastors, man. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, power of Israel, the true God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, what you feeding them lies, okay? You feeding them garbage, <laughs> you, you feeding them Jewish fables, okay? And at the same time, you are, you, you, you are robbing them. It says, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, okay? And the Lord is going to visit these false pastors, man. Now, like I said, this man is lucky he left with his life. But, you know, that, 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 that might not be, you know, too far, you know, gone either, okay? We're about to see great death, great mass destruction and judgment, all right? And, you know, this just goes to show... You know why the Lord is to be feared. Your whole Bashim Yahweh Shai is to be is no joke and to be taken seriously, man. And if you don't, then he's going to punish you. Okay, he's going to punish you. And like I said, what was this guy doing with all this jewelry on, man? Okay, what was this guy doing with all this jewelry on? And I'll tell you what he was doing, man. Okay, because he, uh, religion is big business, man. Okay, for these false pastors, these false prophets. This is big, big, um, big business, man. Okay. And these people, they're, you know, leading you people to, 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 to destruction, you know, and, and, and all in hopes to get, you know, rich and famous off you and, and, and which it, it, it works, man. It works. But a true pastor, a pastor, which is a prophet of, of the Lord is going to be, you know, in a lowly uh, and meek spirit, man. Not flashy, trying to show off all this fucking jewelry and be in the club, toting sticks at camp and shit, man. That's not the spirit of a, of, 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 of a man of the, the, the Lord, man. Okay, Matthew chapter 7, verse uh, 13. Enter ye, ye in the straight gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be that go that that so I can many there be which go in thereat because straight is the gate which means a path of difficulty and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it so you people that just run in these churches these churches man they pack with people you know but only few is going to find this truth only few are going to really seek and, and, and find Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai man okay the rest of you people going to be you know destroyed in these churches it says, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. So they'll come with the nicest, you know, attire on, you know, um, they, these pastors got to wear a thousand dollar suits or even going to you. It's, it's right. So got to have le uh, these damn leather garments, man. OK. Double um, fringed up, you know, just making a, a, a making it all about the outward appearance, you know, but in, but 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 inside. They are ravening wolves, man. Inwardly, they are ravening wolves, you know, just trying to take and eat and, you know, de de devour as much as they can. And they're devouring the sheep. OK, so ultimately, the Lord is going to devour these wicked men. OK. It says, um, you know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? And, 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 and that's just a that's a high point key point right there man you know you, you know them by their fruits man so if a man is you know gathering you know he has bad fruit if if he if, 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 if he just you know everything that he has just you know you know worldly and gain and he's bragging and boasting in it you know then then, then you know what type of man that is but if a man is of the spirit you know have spiritual fruits you know good works you know good tidings you know it says, even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. 
A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. So all these trees, which was just symbolic for people, you know, that's not bringing forth good fruit. It's bringing forth bad fruit. They're going to be cast down and hewn into the fire, man. All these false prophets. Okay. All, 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 all these uh, imposters. Okay. All these actors, you know, all, all, all these hustlers. That's all the Christian church is a hustle, man. You know, these men got a gold podium, man. You know, millions of dollars in jewelry, man. Okay, these people are hustlers. Okay, and all of them, okay, are going to be hewn down and cast into the fire, the lake of fire, which is going to be those thermonuclear missiles, man. Okay, wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. So you so so you <laughs> you you see what you see what they came for, man. You know, and the fact that he had it on him, uh, over a million dollars in jewelry, and we think he got that money from, man, the congregation. He got it from his congregation, man. Okay. He got it from his congregation. So, hey, you got hey, you, you got to be, be weary, man. Okay? You got to be weary. The Lord said to beware of false prophets and false teachers. Okay? And there's definitely, you know, many false teachers out there, man. <clears throat> it says, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 2. But there were false prophets also among the people. Even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnable heresies and denying the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And he's what you was what you see. You see a lot. You want to see a lot of these guys get judged, man. It's with swift destruction. OK, anybody who forsook y'all by Shemir Hashem, anybody who, who forsook in his truth or anybody who's spoken against his truth. OK, against your Hashem, Shemir Hashem and his prophets, you are you about to receive a swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. So these people be the same ones, you know, um, talking shit about the truth. You got these things with IUIC going to all these Christian churches and, uh, you know, they sitting outside these Christian churches and, you know, they, they, they're they having a whole thing. And you Christians telling you how they really feel about you. Hebrews are lights. OK. And, it, and, and it's e that you're evil spoken of. OK. You're evil spoken of. It says, and through covetousness shall they fiend, shall they with fiend words make merchandise of you with covetousness, man. This man had a half or a hundred million in jewelry, man. And I'm slack here, slack here, so like I'm walking said hundred million, but he had one million in jewelry, man. Okay. It says, um, and through covetousness shall they with fiend words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnable. And their in her in her damnation slumbereth not. If the most high spirit not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto unto judgment, and spare not the old world, but save Noah and eight persons. The Lord only saved eight people, man. A preacher of righteousness bringeth in the flood of the bringeth, like it bringeth in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah to ashes, condemned them with an arrow, making them an end sample unto those that should live ungodly, man. The Lord did what he did in Sodom and Gomorrah for an example for those that live ungodly, man. That was an example. That was a warning. And delivered just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For the righteous man dwelleth among, among them, and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds and we see these false prep uh, pastors and these demons and these you know non-believers man okay and we're vexed man oh yeah i'll just you know me, me coming home from work today and just having to deal with you know these fucking everyday people man yeah I, I was extremely vexed man i was extremely vexed we need salvation we need deliverance man and the world is so fucked up because you got guys out here that's pushing lies and getting rich off of it man listen man prosperity ain't game Okay, it says, uh, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the ungodly out of temptation and he reserved the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished, man. So you, so these people pastors talking about prosperity, prosperity, the Lord is going to deliver you until the, until the day of judgment to be punished, man. Okay. I want to touch on this real quick and I ain't gonna, I'm going to make this too long. Let me get ready to close out. So lock you, you know, but, um. Um, so 
Okay, bear me one second. Let me find this particular scripture. It says, um, yeah, well, I'll look for that. Let me grab this real quick. Bear with me one second. Okay. see uh damn man i really want that scripture the scripture is always hard for me to find because see what they believe is um That by getting riches and fame and stuff, that that makes them, you know, holy, you know, and they're wrong. Okay, it's not the spirit of Yahweh Shimei Yahweh Shai. It's not the spirit of Yahweh Shimei Yahweh Shai, man. gotta find it now man I gotta find it now so lucky bear me one second I'm on here we go it's lucky you know so lucky I had I had to do some searching it says, um, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 3, If any man teach otherwise and consent not unto wholesome words, even the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, okay, he is proud, knowing nothing, but doteth about questions and strifes of words, wherefore, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil sermissings. Um, Perverse disputings of men that of corrupt minds and destitute of truth, supposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself, man. So from men like this, you know, these false pastors that think that gain is godliness, withdraw thyself, man. But godliness with contentment is great gain. Okay, that's that's what's great gain, man. Godliness with contentment. Okay, the Lord said to be content. You know, you don't have to have it all, man. You know, you don't need gold, you know, uh, 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 podiums and shit, man. You know, you really supposed to be out in the streets teaching. The Lord said, go into the highways and hedges. Don't hide behind no pulpit, you know, no building, you know, with all your damn, you know, a, a million in jury on <laughs> while you're fucking uh, uh, preaching. That's like these rappers, man. You know, they, 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 they'll be rapping and they'll have a million in jury on while they're in the studio or some shit. You know, it, 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 it gives them... Some type of worldly drive to go harder in, in the world. Was well, same thing with these pastors, man. That man was doing that and wearing that, um, because it was it was giving him a, a, a spirit to make more money, man. You know, he was boasting and 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 gain, man. Supposing that gain is godliness, man. It says, um, but godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be there there with content. That but they that be sucky, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, while which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And this man, you know, he could have got put to death right there, man, on camera in front of his whole congregation, man, you know. He could have got put to death, man. Okay? This is some serious times he's coming into. And the Lord's going to start, you know, touching people, man. But thou, O man of the Most High, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, love, faith, 
patience, meekness, to fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, man. Okay, that's what we do, man. We, we are professing a good profession before many witnesses, teaching the truth, and we don't do this for money, man. Okay, the scripture says, freely as you receive this truth, freely shall you give, roughly paraphrasing, man. So we don't do this for money. But you see what happens when people try to make a mer mer try to make mer try to make merchandise out of the, the Dolores house, man. Okay. And also, let me end off with this right here. Okay. <clears throat> so, and I had been going into these topics, you know, for, for, for the past couple of weeks on these churches, man. And this is just, you know, an, a, an, another one to add to, uh, to add to the list. Okay, it says, um, Acts chapter 7, verse 48. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as if the prophet. Acts chapter 17, verse 24. The most high, Yahweh Shai, that made the world and all the things therein, seeing that he is the Lord of heaven and earth, he dwelleth not in temples made with hands. So the Lord is not in these churches, man. Not in these churches, you got it's just these churches that is not but a den of thieves, and ultimately in a den of thieves, everybody's invited. You're gonna also also have more snakes in that den, okay? And that's why you see fighting in these churches, you see robbery going on in these churches, you see, and this ain't the first time we don't have we're gonna see multiple videos of churches getting robbed, man, okay? Getting robbed, and that's why, why, because it's all with them, it's all about money, okay? The spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai, the true God of um the, the, the Bible and his only begotten son, is not in these churches, man, okay? He's not there, so who is there? The jack boys and the thugs and the thieves and the pimps and the, you know, the the, 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 the sodomites and, you know, the harlots. Okay. So, hey, flee from these churches, man. Or your ass might, 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 might be getting robbed this Sunday. You know, you might be, you might have a gun in your face this Sunday in a place where you thought you were safe at, man. Okay. Scripture says, he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. You people ain't saved. You people ain't saved, man. But every said, I'm saying, Shalom, Kormesh Rala, Ababa Ball, Shalom.